Oh, you're not filming me. <laughs> you know I am grade five at piano. You're what? I'm grade five. What is grade five? Grade five is like you start at level grade one and then you just do exams with every different grade that you do. So. That's all but, you know. No, I do know. I know stuff, but I normally like my music. I like to read the music. I don't remember it very well. I used, you know, to, play, I used to play loads. This is all like... You don't know any songs by Stephen Foster? No, who's, no, I do not know any songs by Stephen Foster. Cycling has been like the biggest part of my life. I've been cycle racing for the past 13 years. The past two seasons, I've struggled a lot, more mentally than anything. I'd worked really hard with my sports psychologist and I felt that I was ready to come into this season as best prepared as I'd ever been. Things don't always work out how you plan them to be and, and I still really struggled with being on that start line. It would kind of start the race and just be in this weird place where I was racing but I wasn't really in the race. That became really apparent at GP Gloucester. That's my favorite race, and I've podiumed many times at that race. And so I was really looking forward to putting in a good performance there. And the gun goes off, and I have this like numb feeling, which you kind of shouldn't have, you know. I think I was eight or something, and, and I just remember crying. I was just so upset that I'd put so much effort into getting myself together for this season and mentally it was just it was just hurting me more than anything and, and working with Kristen, my sports psychologist, I realised that the past two seasons I'd been dealing with depression and also anxiety as well and um, it, the, just the racing side of things was not helping me with that and instead it was putting me more into this bigger dark hole and, and at times it would feel like I couldn't get out of it and I love bikes and I love the whole scene and I've met so many awesome people through cycling and so it is hard when you know it becomes a struggle mentally but I just knew that it was the right time for me to to retire and as much as in my dreams and my hopes was always that I would retire on a real high note having the best season ever and you know everything going right for me and unfortunately it, sometimes it doesn't work out and so obviously I've retired midway through my season and obviously I've left it with a lot of mental stuff going on for myself. I've been really open since I retired about that side of things and I think that that's helped me a lot being able to talk about it and be very open about what it is like suffering with depression and especially in sport and stuff but you don't really talk about that side of things because it can be perceived as like a weakness. Other people feel it but it's just you don't hear about it and especially in professional sports where you, you kind of it's you've got to be this tough person and not really show the weaknesses as much and so I think that's been hard sometimes to try and even if I'm feeling like kind of fragile you, you have to show that you're not really. I think that's something a lot of people don't necessarily talk about is the transition out of the sport because that's a really hard thing to to go through making that choice and then moving away from that side of of your life. I think because a lot of people that professional athletes that retire from their sport it's been your life for so long and that's that's kind of all you've known as being this athlete and and living this lifestyle not knowing what your next step is is really it's actually really terrifying because <laughs> I've just known bikes for so long that I was like, oh my, you know, I'm, I'm going into the, another world now. But luckily, I got this great opportunity with our title sponsor who's based in London to work within his company on doing marketing. I'm really excited because it allows me to move into a business side of things, but I'm still able to be in the bike world because it's, Velo is still a whole bike thing, so it, it'll be cool to still be able to be in contact with all, all the people that I've met over the years. I'm, I'm excited because it, I actually have a job to go straight into, which has is, is definitely helped me and it's definitely helped with my depression and anxiety feelings. I know Jeremy's really excited about moving to the UK. I think he's more excited than I am actually. I've done the whole relocation yeah. from the UK to the US, so I think he's he's definitely very, very excited. 
I get, life's about change, isn't it? So, and having good opportunities like this, I think, is is great, and you should always just go for it. I think.